Dear student, today we will see chapter number one, similarity. In this chapter, we are going to learn about basic proportionality theorem. Let's start. Basic proportionality theorem. Let's see the statement of this theorem. If a line parallel to a side of a triangle intersect the remaining side in two distinct points, then the line divides the sides in the same proportion. Okay, so here we will take one triangle. Say the triangle is ABC. Now we will draw a line parallel to any one side of a triangle. And that line should intersect remaining two sides in two distinct points. So you can see here we have a line L, which is parallel to side BC and line L intersect side AB and side AC at points P and Q respectively. So what is given in triangle ABC, line L parallel line BC and line L intersects AB and AC in points P and Q respectively. And what I have to prove, I have to prove that line L divides AB and AC in same proportion. It means we have to prove here AP, look at in this figure, AP upon PB equals to AQ upon QC. So what I have to prove? AP upon PB equals to AQ upon QC. So we required construction here. We will draw seg PC and seg BQ. Let's see in this figure, I'm going to draw join, uh, draw segment PC and BQ. Now we will go for the proof of it. Triangle APQ and triangle PQB have equal heights. You can look at this figure. Here we have triangle APQ and here we have a triangle PBQ and these two triangles have equal heights. You can see that I'm going to draw the height. See the segment. You can see the perpendicular from Q to AP. It is a height of triangle APQ and even it is also be the height of triangle BPQ. Triangle BPQ is obtuse angle triangle, hence the altitude will lie outside of a triangle. So this perpendicular segment is the common height of both the triangle. And we know that if the heights of any two triangles are equal, then the ratio of areas of those two triangles is equals to ratio of their corresponding bases. So what is the base of triangle APQ? AP. And what is the base of triangle BPQ? PB. Therefore, area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle PQB equals to AP upon PB. It's according to that property of areas of two triangles. Now we will take another two triangle that is triangle APQ and triangle PQC and they also have a equal height. You can see in this figure triangle APQ and triangle PQC have same height. You can see I have drawn the height of triangle APQ, right? And that height is also with the height of triangle PQC because PQC, PQC is obtuse angle triangle, hence the altitude will lie outside the triangle. So they have the same height. Yes. So what is the base of the first triangle? AQ. What is the base of the second triangle? QC. And therefore the ratio of areas of this two triangle will be equal to the ratio of their corresponding bases. Area of triangle APQ upon a triangle PQC equals to AQ upon QC. This equation number two, according to the property that is areas proportional to the base. Now, look at this figure. Here we have triangle BPQ and triangle PQC. Both lies between the same parallel line. So their bases are equal. Their bases are same. Right, so sec PQ is the common base of both the triangles, right? And the height of those two triangles will be equal, right? When two triangles lie between the same parallel line, then their heights are equal. If the heights and bases of both the triangles are equal, then area of triangle PQB equals to area of triangle PQC. It's equation number three. Look at here equation one, right? Equation 2. 
you can see the left hand side of both the equation their numerators are same but denominators are not same okay that is area of triangle pqb and area of triangle pqc are the denominators of both the triangles and they are also equal that i have proved it in equation number three it means area of triangle apq upon area of triangle pqb equals to area of triangle apq upon area of triangle pqc from one two and three therefore ap upon pb equals to aq upon qc from one and two hence i have proved it over here that when you draw a line parallel to any one side of a triangle then it divides remaining two sides in same proportion thank you Thank you.